Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, we're gonna to be putting in the fence in the south pasture. We have some of the stuff. I don't know what we're all gonna need. I know we're gonna need that. The cutters, gonna need these for marking the the posts, this for measuring the posts. Oh, we need string, we need the compressor and the hose, and we need, I'm not sure if you're gonna see it, but we need that generator back there. So I'm gonna try to slide these toolboxes out of there and then slide it over. That thing weighs probably 100 pounds with the gas in it. The pounder is back there, baby, if you wanna go get that. And then we need string and a plumb bob. So we got a good amount of stuff to get. Yep, that's the right string. Finding the plumb bob is going to be a little more difficult, I think. All right, let me try to get this out of here. Okay, I fished this out and have been trying to start it ever since. Oh, it's been about 15 minutes. And it could be flooded now. Don't know. It should start. It's, it's always started like right away, but we didn't use it last year, I don't think. Yeah, I, I did um, T-posts in the field over there and I just used the hand pounder. So what we're gonna do is load up with T-posts and put them out in the field where about where they're going to go and then uh, come back and try this again so we'll offload this no sense in having this big lug on here and then go put them posts in the field hey, you want to give me a hand honey this thing weighs a ton all right this is the pounder which requires compressed air. I wish I had a gas compressor. I have to bring an electric compressor and I have to supply my electricity. I could just string cords and stuff, but not a good idea. Okay, let's load up with T-Pulse. Well, I guess we don't need this right now. If worse comes to worst, we're gonna have to hand pound them in, which is a big job. So this thing better start working. All right, let's get some posts. Okay, we are at the field. The plan is to take this measuring wheel and I will drive along the edge nice and slow and hold it out the door like this. Well, Here, let me demonstrate. Hold it out the door like, well, you'll, you'll hold it straight. <laughs> the kickstand will come up. Every 10 feet, Natalie will toss out one of the one of the T posts. So that's our plan for that, but we gotta figure out, see we have three trees here. I wanna do the whole field as much as possible. Everything that's not done, everything that's not fenced in, well actually everything has to be cut. Even, even the inside of the field, after they're out, we have to get in there and cut it. Otherwise you get, you know, four foot tall grass. And then if you wait too long, this is what happens. You get all this dead grass in there and you really have to burn after a while. And that, that can be kind of dangerous. 
but we have to figure out an uh, opening right here. So we want to go, how big is the mower? 50, 50 something? 52? Yeah, it's 52. Oh. So it's a bit over four feet. So if we go five feet from the trees here, or six feet from the trees, go along that, right along the property line on, on that side, and then... What if, what if we started on this side, way over here, and then when we got to this tree, we it was like a straight line? Just grass, bump out? And then go around it, that would get us a lot more grass. Yeah, and a lot less to cut. Um, but where should we start? I mean, we could bring that, that line of the fence from here all the way, all the way over to here. Yeah, just to the edge of this tree, like right here. Yeah, we don't want to go into a point, though, so we would go... It would be like, like a square. I actually, if we... If we just came over to here, and then to there, and then down that way, and just leave this part out. I don't, I, you know, that's yeah. a lot of posts to get our, right. into this little ass area, and then we got to put a door in there, which, or uh, our gate would should just go right, if we come up right here, and then go over and then start the line that way. This is the gate right here. That would be the perfect size. All right, so we need, well, because it, it's actually one right here and then one right yeah. there, and then go up that way. All right, so we can get, we can just lay one right here and one over by the water bowl. Should we measure? It, it's not fussy right now. We're not putting them in. We just... We need to unload and get another load of these. Did I grab the pounder? No, I didn't. So we got to get that as well. So these will be the two sides. Then we'll have one more right by my tree, go around it, bump in, and then continue on down. So we need four over by the trees, and then we'll start tossing them from there. Can't we do it in three? No, we would, if we did three, we would have to come way out. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? If we did three, we would have to come, you know, to get that horse far enough away, we'd have to come way out here. Otherwise, we could go right here. So four of them there, and then we'll start spacing them from there. What the hell? Oh, I'm, all right, I'm reading inches and thinking I have feet. Five. Nine. Ten feet. All right. Woo. All right, that's one. All right, that's twenty.
good. We're about halfway. So the same amount again should do it. got two loads of T posts laid out and we just have the front left to do which is the easiest part and if I can't get that generator started I'm gonna have to pound it with these Natalie can learn how to do that a little bit too but right I know you know how but um, then we'll, we'll need a level when we go do this again so we get them straight and we'll have to bring a bunch of these. So we're going to have lunch and then get back at it. got this thing running it should run fine when we get to the field I'll just have to plug my compressor in we got the hose and we got the pounder the pounder was not acting really good last time I used it but hopefully I mean anything is easier than hand pounding and then we got oil for the pounder and got a sawzall for any branches that we need to get out of the way. Got the roller wheel to measure. I think that's all we need. Can you think of anything? Oh, where's that string, honey? Did you? All right. There's the string right there. We'll just need that on uh, on the last leg. Okay. I think that's it. How much gas do we have? That's about a half a tank. I, I'd like to run this out of gas. We use the gas stabilizer, but it's been a year and a half since 
this was run so I'd like to run that dry and fill it up again and I don't think we'll have too much of a problem doing that okay let's go out and pound some posts all right this is where we're at we're doing the layout right now oh you got one hey it, it's pretty much dead Right, but your batteries are dead. Oh, is it? yeah. All right, so we need to get these other two trees out there right in our line of sight. We're trying to stay right at the edge here, and our line of sight goes through that, that branch that circles up, that post right there, and I'll show you what we're doing. Um, you could just leave the sawzall there, We'll run and go get, I, I have a pile of batteries. I should have brought them along. Got them all charged up. So what we have to do is, so far we have two lines of sight. One that goes down behind that tree over there and then it goes to where it is right there. And then this line of sight right to here. Then we take a plumb bob we go, we measure from post to post, 10 feet, and then we take a plumb bob and, and hang it from here. I guess I can show that. Where is the plumb bob? Here it is. Um, if you can help Natalie grab the, where's the pounder? Oh, right there. We'll go do one. All right, so now she measures over from the previous T-post 10 feet, and it doesn't have to be exact, but it should be close. Now measure, keep measuring along the line, honey. There you go. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Is that it? Yep. All right, and then I take this, and... I wish I had my regular plumb bob. All right, grab the T-post, honey. So we want the base of the T-post right where the plumb bob is, but on the other side of the line, right like that. All right, well, you might as well pound this one. Oh Just pound it to the fins. We're just going a few inches to the fins. All right, you want me to do it? All right, you got it. All right, beautiful. And then you get a really nice straight level fence. And when we, then we come along with a level and pull these level and then pound them with the automatic stuff. Pound them to the, until only four feet are sticking out of the ground. So that is how we do it. We have to run up and get a bunch of batteries. Let's get this last one in and, and then we'll run up there. All right, we went and got some batteries and here she goes. Did you cut through the other side? Yeah. Did you miss it? No. It's going to pinch on that side, honey. All right, watch out. Timber. All right, that was smooth. Okay, here's the trees we just cut out, and 
that's one side of the opening by the walnut. This is the walnut trail I made last year. You can see the old fence in here. It's just a little bit behind us right now. But we had to cut out that tree for the line of sight to get this through here. It, it, the tree kind of bent in that way. That T-post right there is coming out. It's got to go back there. So we just get one at one end and then as far as we can in a nice straight line and then we pound another one in like this and then just wrap the string around and then that has a, a spike on the end of it and then we got our nice straight line and then take our plumb bob and our pounder and go all the way to the other end and start measuring 10 foot intervals and pound them in so i'm not sure how much we're going to be able to get done today it looks like it's going to rain here maybe not but it's possible but we are getting pretty exhausted too so we'll see um you can come i just felt a drop it's still on my arm. Uh, this is ten right here. No way. This is the worst spot. Oh well, that is ten. That it doesn't matter. We'll go. We'll just go right on the other side, right there. Oh, right here. We'll go a little further. We'll go right here. So, grab your your T post. So I want it just barely touching you're gonna have to come over you're gonna have to come around from like under and but your your flat has to be on the back honey you have to go over in the back My flat. yeah the flat of the t-post has to be on the back of the line oh. There you go. All right, so it's gonna go right about there. just ran over and joined us she probably got let out to go potty and took off because that's the kind of girl she is so we got this line in and we got T posts all the way to that chunk of woods oh, I'm not sure what I think we're just gonna pick up on the other side of that I got to get my chainsaw going and cut that stuff out so in the meantime we will just go between the trees with tree connectors and connect our way through that. That way they can stand among the trees too if they want. But that's about it for right now. We're going to take a break. We've been at it for about nine hours. Not on this exclusively. We've worked on other stuff and had lunch too. But we are both pretty beat. So we're going to go take a break and... I either will be back to continue on this or if, if it starts raining, we're done for the day. So one or the other, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up. It is raining. We felt drops already and then it's, it's right behind these trees here. And you can see it off that way and off that way. 
that's it for today but we got a lot done we just have to get the rest of them in their places and then we can pound them i was hoping we could get it done in one day but not so not so lucky What's that, honey? You can see it. Yeah, I know. I'm pointing the camera at it. Like the DNR or something. It's just the last few times they've come through, you can't see them. All right. So if you want to see the progress on this fence, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And if you give the video a thumbs up and or a like, it helps us out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.